stage um, where we will have four hours full of very different and very intriguing content. Um, in the next hours, you will hear, for example, Richard Gray talking about iPhoneography, what you can do with your iPhone camera, what you don't expect that you can do, actually. And also Martin Ruff, Sebastian Pickmall, and Yuli Leftov will give a talk about PD, web audio with PD and HTML5. We will have later in the afternoon um, a panel discussion called The Future of Music is Social. And the next one is um, the talk called Creating Your First Augmented Reality App. Um, I would like to introduce you to Fernando Gallego. He is a Spanish Android developer working for Metayo. Metayo is a German augmented reality um, software development company. So please give a warm welcome to Fernando. Hi. Okay. Um, yes. The, thank you for coming. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, augmented reality and how you can make your very first uh, augmented reality experience with our tools. I work for Metayo. Um, here's my contact information. In case I convince you to use augmented reality, you can ask me something. Okay. Metayo is a company from Munich. We have uh, also office in, in San Francisco. It was founded in 2003. And uh, we have like uh, almost 10 years of experience augmenting the reality. And we provide solutions for many businesses like industrial, automotive, uh, marketing, publishing. We are about 85 people, almost growing every couple of weeks. And we have delivered uh, about 500 uh, augmented reality projects and applications that are seen by uh, 15 million people that users our, can see our product. I will first introduce what augmented reality is and first what people usually think uh, augmented reality is. Uh, you have probably seen this kind of applications where the device uh, locates you and shows uh, what kind of uh, points of interest are around your location, like, um, I don't know, cash machines or restaurants, hotels, uh, any kind of interesting place that are around you. Uh, you can also see uh, the augmented reality is uh, about uh, this kind of black and white markers that you can show some 3D models over these markers, so the camera knows uh, from which direction are you watching the marker, so you can turn around and you can see the object from every position. And there was also a time where video chat was also popular in instant uh, messaging applications, and with your camera software, it usually served as some kind of special effects that you can use on your face, like uh, putting glasses on or a hat. So this is what you are probably used to, to see in a mental reality. And this is what Hollywood thinks about augmented reality. They see it like some kind of fancy interfaces where you can touch them, you can see it in 3D, like an holographic model. I think that this is maybe too futuristic but maybe in a few years we can achieve something like that when, when we have better displays and 3D displays. Something like this can, could be achieved something in the future. But what is augmented reality right now? What is its state? Um, right now, the, the augmented reality is, is a natural way to visualize augmented content. I had a video here, but it's not okay. <laughs> this is one of our products we developed for Lego. There, there was this kind of kiosk where you can show the Lego box in front of the camera, and you could see the product, the Lego toy already mounted, and with 
3D and some animations. So the people could uh, see how will it look already mounted before buying it and also enjoy the experience of see it live with movement, with all the toys and the, the Lego things. I mean, the reality is not about what black and white markers anymore. So right now you can use any kind of picture to, to trigger any kind of augmented reality experience. There is no need to, to use QR codes or patterns, black and white patterns. You can use pictures and place content above them. Augmented reality is also great for games. As you can see, you can see your real world through the camera. So you can place any kind of monsters, zombies around your the user current location. So you can play with them, or you can maybe create an, a, a treasure adventure or treasure hunting game, where you can I don't know set some treasures in the city and move around the city with your iPad or Android device and just try to find them. Augmented reality is not only about advertising or games, it can be really useful for engineering environments where you can have this kind of uh, precision in 3D models and card, card pieces or something that you can measure and then use augmented reality over them and you can see, for instance, a car, but you can look inside a car or you can see how a mechanism is uh, mounting inside a a door or something and you can project it over the surface and see how will it work once mounted. Augmented reality is also great for education. You can forget about those boring textbooks you have in school. Now you can have a, a picture and show it to the camera application and you can see a very important place in the earth in 3D. You can see the real height of a mountain or a special event in history, you can replay it in your book or in your camera and see it from any kind of point of view. Uh, AR is also great for advertising. Uh, any brand can create a model of their product and create an application with it. And the user can show the pattern to the camera and play with your product change its color, uh, put on remove pieces of the car, for instance, see it from any kind of orientation, rotate it, make it bigger, so they can play with your real product before buying it. And augmented reality is not only about 2D images or 2D patterns. You can also use uh, 3D real models to track and to display augmented reality over these mm, real objects and turn around them, you can play with them, you can, yeah, it's about real object and real life. Augmented reality is also fun and excitement. We have this project with Macy's where children could uh, take a picture with a virtual character and they could send the picture in a letter to Santa Claus for a Christmas campaign and the experience was uh, really successful like 2 million letters were sent to Santa Claus increasing Macy's sales like uh, 6% So why should you start using augmented reality right now? We have uh, 15 million of users using our products over or our technology. We have 10,000 developers around the world using our technologies. And we have deployed 200 mobile applications that use our engine. So as our CEO says, in 2014, augmented reality will be on every smartphone. So let me introduce you to Unayo. Unayo is an application we have developed for Android and iOS devices. It's uh, an application that lets you load augmented reality content and play it on your browser, on your 
mobile phone. But Unayo is not only an application, it's about a community. We have thousands of developers creating content for their own purposes, for brands, for customers, or for the, themselves. So they can create this experience and that are re ready to be seen by millions of people. And I will show you how can you create content for Uneo or for your own application. Uneo is an augmented reality browser. It's, it works very quite similar to your desktop browser like Firefox or Chrome. It's like a, a player. So as the same way you load a website on your desktop browser, you can load a channel in Uneo that will display the content inside the applications, but the content are provided by third parties. Content is provided by anyone who wants to display their content to, to Unayo. What kind of content can Unayo display? Almost any content you can find on a website, like images, uh, buttons, videos. The videos can, could be in full screen or you can display a 2D plane with the video pattern over the image and it will, be, it will be on 3D so you can turn around you can watch it all the time over the pattern you can play sounds and the most important thing I think is that you can display these 3D models with animations and textures so you can play with them you can interact with them you can touch them you can do anything with this content so as I said you can load channels Channels are where the content are grouped, like a website, a channel holds uh, the content the users or the developers create. And we have uh, three kind of, of channels you can, you can create. One of them are the typical location-based channels where you can get the user position and you can show the user all the uh, interesting uh, places around this location. So you can show restaurants, you can show hotels, you can show whatever you want, monuments. We have another kind of channels that are called glue channels. These channels are used with uh, image patterns that you can use to trigger the content. So anyone can uh, display any 3D model or picture or something over this kind of pattern. And in the latest version of Unayo, it's Unayo 4, we added a new kind of channel that is called RL. This kind of channel is a mix between both of them and uh, you can display a new user interface made in HTML and you can interface and interact with the objects or the content through a JavaScript library that makes it, make it very, very easy to use and it's a language you already know or you may already know you do some web development so it's very easy to interact with the with the objects to do this way i would like you to show you a few demos of unayo to see so you can see what kind of uh, applications can you create i will display it in the left screen so maybe you can watch them in this side This is the real camera feed. We can display um, points of interest that are around this position. So you can watch them. You can look for uh, pharmacies, restaurants, cinema. You can see any information about the place, like the phone number, the route, how to get there, the image. If you go to the left, you can see a list of channels that are around your position.
I will show you now an RL channel that its interface is made with HTML and it's communicated through JavaScript. You can see that I can open the channel without any kind of uh, QR code. I can just scan the image and load the channel. So how can you create this kind of augmented reality experience for you or for your customers? I want to show you a, a tool we have, it's called Metallo Creator. That it's a very easy way to create uh, content by just drag and dropping the, the resources. This is the creator interface. You can add the uh, image patterns. You can create, you can add the content you want. You can display it and you can preview it and then you can upload to our servers or to your, to your own servers. I'll try to use the campus party logo. Here there are three stars. These stars means how good the pattern is to track. Three stars means the pattern is excellent. Two stars means it's okay. One star means it's not so good and non any star means better change to another one. In the second tab, you can add the resources you want. For instance, I will add a website button. I will add a 3D model. It's an Android. And I will add a website to trigger when the website button is clicked. So you only have to drag the stuff to the pattern to create the scenario. So I can drag the website button over the pattern and in the scenario tab I will have the results loaded. So I could change its location. I can change its scale. Here I can make the event when clicked. I can show the campus party web page. And I can also drag the Android guy. Here I will see how will it look when, once it's deployed. Oops. I can also play an animation when the model is loaded. These models are created, you can create them with Blender for instance, which is an open source or free app, 3D model application. And the animations and models have to be exported in MD2 format, that is the, like the Quake 2 models, or in OBG. So in the fourth tab, we have the deployment tab. You can create an account in our 
server in dev.junaio.com. You can create an account, a developer account for free, so you can start creating channels. You can create a new channel, for instance. In this case, I'm creating the channel in our servers that it, you can use them for test only. But if you want to deploy, to deploy your, uh, your experience or your content, you have to use your own web server. So you have to switch to expert mode and then you can add here all the information and the URL that will be called to retrieve your content. And down there, you can add your FTP address to upload your, your resources and content. So I will switch to easy mode. The content is already loaded. Here with this QR code, I can just load the, the experience. And if you deliver this QR code to anyone, they can also see it before it's, being, before it's published to, to anyone. I would like to show you also how can you create a 3D tracking map to track real 3D objects. I have this angry bird here that I will try to track and to create uh, the Android guy just uh, in front of him or in uh, side. To create the map, you first need to open the Creator Mobile version that you can download for free in the Google Play or the App Store. You will need to print this QR code so you can place it uh, near the object to create the map and then you can remove it and track the object without any QR code and load the experience using this object.
it looks good. I can send the map to the creator application to or to my email and load it in the creator desktop version. Hopefully, I will get the pattern in my Dropbox folder. Here it is. Now I have a 3D point cloud. So I can see here the relative position with the marker and all the dots that represent uh, the features that I'm going to track. Now I'm uploaded the scenario again with a new channel, so I can load it on my mobile phone and test it. Okay, you put more effort, you will get better results. But for a live demo, I think it's okay. So what if you want to create a more complex um, experience? You, we have an API where you can use to create a, a kind of ex a more complex experience. For instance, we support indoor locations by encoding lo latitude and longitude in a QR code so the user can, inside a building, scan this code and its location will be provided so the application will know where the user is and provide any other new content around him. You can create a 360 degree views so you can show how a place will look inside around a user. 
we can you can use uh, location based channels but not only with this kind of uh, bubbles i showed you before you can use any kind of 3d model as a location um, point of interest you can also create an augmented reality shooter so you can get the center of the on the camera view and check if it's pointing to some model or some kind of uh, balloon monster whatever so you can shoot it you can filter the point of interest you can create uh, user input forms you can create your custom balloons or callouts and you can create your own game by adding logic to the to the channel by using our api and um, as, as, as i said before we added this rl kind of channel that it's a a, a new way to show your uh, to show your interfaces and interact with the content the basic structure is that you have the camera view with op the rendering in OpenGL. Then we add a WebKit view over this layer, so it has a, it's a, like a loading a web page with a transparent background, but all your user interface is drawn above the the rendering engine. And then you can interact with JavaScript uh, using this this library. What if you want to create your own application without any Junayo logo on it? We have this Junayo plugin that you can use it to create your own applica application with your own branding, but you can use our engine in your application with this library that you can just load into your project and start using it. And what if you want even more control. Junajo plugin is based on our mobile SDK. It means that here you don't have any server providing the content. You load all the content you want directly from your application or from your own sources. So we don't provide any server that you can use. So this is the more complex way of creating an experience, but you can also use it. And we have a success case of an application using our technology. The IKEA catalog for next year will provide augmented reality content using our technolo technology. So you will see uh, some marker on the pages that will inform you that you can use your mobile with the IKEA application to display all the content like 3D models of the furniture, galleries, videos, X-ray, through wardrobes, whatever. And I would like you to, I would like to uh, talk a little bit about uh, Inside AR. It's a conference we host in Munich in October. So any uh, student or campusero can get a discount to, to go to our conference. Just drop an email to insidear at metayo.com and we will tell you how you can get this discount. It's a conference, the largest in Europe, about augmented reality. We will have over 500 visitors, speakers and presentations from people and from NVIDIA or LEGO. And you will show the state-of-the-art technology in augmented reality with our demos and they are two days of conference and you can uh, also experience the Oktoberfest in Munich. The discount is, you can get the ticket with the discount for just 49 euros. This is our contact information in case you want to follow us on Facebook, Twitter. We have a blog, a Flickr, and you can see all the demos and more videos in our YouTube channel. So you have any question you want to make right now? Hi. I was just wondering if your, um, it's only for Windows, your program, the interface is only for Windows, it's not for Mac as well? And how, when it will it come out? And also, um, 
Oh, what's my other question? Oh yeah, your API, what language is it, programming language is it based in? Uh, our API is, uh, we have uh, library helpers that are made on PHP, but actually you can use any kind of server-side language because we, all we need is an XML, M XML file with all the, the contents described, so you can use any kind of server-side technology you want. Sorry, when is the Mac version coming out? Yeah, the Mac version for Creator will be released, I think, uh, before the October, in, before inside the year. Uh, yeah, so we can uh, sign in as developers and uh, try to test uh, an application there? Um, if we sign in uh, as developer, uh, can we create a small application and test it there? You can register for free as a developer, so you can create as many channels as you want. But if you want to publish them, to make them public and usable by anyone, you have to provide your own web server to host your contents. And the channel has to be submit and approved by our people, but it's in a, in a day or two. So, but you can create in, in as many as you want. More questions? Come on, guys, don't be shy. Hi, I was wondering if you have any new products in the pipeline coming. Any new products that are being developed by, by Mateo? Yeah, we have a few other products that, that I didn't show here, but we have a, an engineer mm, product that is very uh, is used for engineering businesses. And we have a, a designer that is like creator, but for this engineering application that is a little bit more, more complex and more for more technical uh, applications. But you can always check metayo.com and see all the products we have. More questions, anyone? I know there is more questions. Come on. Now it's the time to ask him, Fernando, it was amazing. You again, okay? Is it possible to make a 3D model that changes based on the day? So maybe um, if the weather is bad, it shows a cloudy icon instead of a sunny icon. Is that possible? Yeah, it's totally possible. If you install Junaeo in your application, the first thing you will see is our tutorial channel. And it's exactly what you said. We have a point-based location with the weather right now. Because as long as, as it uses JavaScript, you can make any AJAX request or API calls to get any information you want and display the content as you wish. That was a good question. Anyone else? Someone here? No? Over there. Hiya. Um, are you seeing any increased demand from e-commerce retailers uh, specifically to use this te technology to drive sales? Um, I'm not really sure about e-commerce we have made, but definitely you can use it for marketing and to bring customers to your application and use augmented reality to redirect them to your website and to sell your products.